library friends. Hello. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's Miss Lisa from the Ponte Vedra Beach Branch Library. Oh, it's so nice to see my friends again. So I thought today it would be really fun to share some fall stories that I enjoy from the library and a fun little fall flannel board. So what's that over there? What's this right here? Is that a tree? Mm-hmm, it sure is. And can you see what is in that tree? Oh, we can see that the seasons are changing. Mm-hmm, we have a little touch of fall, and now our tree has acorns in the tree. Do you see the acorns? Now, when you go outside and you look in a tree, do you see acorns? Are the leaves changing colors? Oh, it's so neat to see how the seasons change. So let's do this fun little story together. And this is called Five Little Acorns. And let's count our acorns together, okay? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Do you see those five acorns in the tree? So five little acorns growing in an old oak tree. Along came Mr. Squirrel, as hungry as could be. Along came the wind, and it rustled all the leaves. Can you make some wind? Whoosh. And it rustled the leaves. Down came an acorn. And Mr. Squirrel was so pleased. Oh my goodness. So how many acorns do we have in our tree? Let's count them, okay? One, two, three, four. Four little acorns in an old oak tree. Along came Mr. Squirrel, as hungry as can be. Along came the wind, make some wind for me, and it rustled all the leaves. Wind, 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 wind. Good job, good job. And down came an acorn. Here we go. Ooh. And Mr. Squirrel was so pleased. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, are you getting all of our acorns? Silly squirrel. Let's see, how many do we have left? Let's count them in the tree. One, two, three. Three little acorns growing in an old oak tree. Along came Mr. Squirrel, as hungry as could be. No, 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 no. Along came the wind. Make some good wind. Stretch out and make some wind. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, and it rustled all the leaves. Down came an acorn. Ooh, boop. And Mr. Squirrel was so pleased. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, you're getting all of our acorns. So how many acorns are left in the tree? Let's count them, okay? One, two, there's only two left. Two little acorns growing in an old oak tree. Along came Mr. Squirrel, as hungry as could be. Along came the wind, make some wind for me. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And it rustled all the leaves. Down came an acorn. <gasps> And Mr. Squirrel, he was so pleased. Oh my goodness, you've gotten almost all of our acorns, Mr. Squirrel. How many acorns are left? Let's see, just one, you're right, just one. One little acorn growing in the old oak tree. Along came Mr. Squirrel, as hungry as could be. Along came the wind, whoosh. And it rustled all the leaves. And down came the acorn. Ooh, boop. And Mr. Squirrel, 
He was so, so pleased. Oh my goodness, Mr. Squirrel. You got all of our acorns. So how many did he get when we got him out of the tree? Let's see, let's count them together, okay? One, two, three, four, five. That's right, he got five acorns from our tree. Super job. What a fun fall story. I love it when the seasons change and we can read stories about pumpkins and apples and leaves. So I have some recommendations. If you would like to share a story and check out from the library, here's some of my fall favorites. So the first story I wanna share for you is called Mouse's First Fall. This is such a pretty story, friends. This one is by Lauren Thompson. And this one has beautiful, beautiful pictures. So Mouse, it's his first fall, and he decides he wants to play with the leaves. And it's so, so pretty. You can see the bright oranges and the blue sky. Love Mouse's first fall. Such a good sharing, sharing story. So I encourage you to check that one out this season. Another story that's one of my favorites, this one is really cool too. This is called Leaves by David Ezra Stein. So our bear, it's his very first fall too, and he feels a little confused when the leaves start falling from the trees. And he decides, well, maybe I'll stick the leaves back on the trees because that's where they're supposed to go, right? But then he learns that as the seasons change, the leaves do too. So that one is really, really fun. I think you'll enjoy this one. There's a little touch of winter in this story as well. So I encourage you to check out Leaves by David Ezra Stein. And the last story I wanna share with you is called Little Frog and the Scary Autumn Thing. Oh, look at Little Frog right there. Now this is a story we can all relate to. Now Little Frog, he's a new frog and everything he's ever known in his whole life has been green. Green leaves, green trees, green grass. And so when the seasons start to change, he notices that the leaves change and the skies change. And you know, he's a little scared, right? Because sometimes when things are new, it can be a little scary. So I encourage you to read this story. This is a beautiful, beautiful story with wonderful pictures called Little Frog and the Scary Autumn Thing. I think this is a story that everyone would appreciate. So I hope you've enjoyed our little touch of fall today in the library, and I hope to see you again soon. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again in the library. Bye, friends.